Hello, health enthusiasts. Join us as we uncover the hidden truths behind everyday foods. You might think you know exactly what's on your plate, but the reality might surprise you. Today, we're diving deep into the carnivore foods you should steer clear of and discovering healthier alternatives to enhance your diet. But there's more in store, so stay tuned. We'll also be shedding light on deli meats, caged eggs, farmed salmon, pasteurized milk, and processed cheese. So buckle up as we take you on a journey to discover what you're really eating. Are you ready to peel back the layers of your pantry and fridge to reveal the truth? Stick around to find out. How much do you know about canned meats and their impact on your health? Canned meats have been a staple in many households around the world since the 1800s, primarily due to their long shelf life and convenience. They were even vital supplies for soldiers during wars, providing a compact source of protein that didn't require refrigeration. But have you ever stopped to consider what's actually in that can? Well, a typical can of meat can contain a cocktail of potentially harmful ingredients such as nitrates, nitrites, seed oils and sugars. Not to mention, they're often made from lower quality cuts of meat which may not offer the same nutritional benefits as their fresh counterparts. It's easy to overlook these factors when faced with the convenience and longevity that canned meats offer. But understanding what goes into these cans is the first step towards making healthier choices. Let's delve deeper into why these ingredients may not be the best choice for our health. What if you could swap that canned meat with a healthier alternative? Let's dive into a world where we substitute canned meats with healthier options. Imagine filling your pantry with fresh cuts of meat instead of canned. The difference is staggering. Fresh cuts of meat are not only tastier, but they also offer higher quality nutrition. They're free from harmful nitrates, nitrites, seed oils, and sugars that are often found in canned meats. Instead, they're packed with essential nutrients like proteins, vitamins, and minerals that can fuel your body for the day. But what if you need a quick, portable option? Enter canned wild-caught sardines. These little powerhouses are a fantastic substitute for canned meats. They're BPA-free and packed in water without any additives. Plus, sardines are one of the most sustainable fish choices out there. So you're doing your bit for the planet, too. They're also nutrient-dense, boasting high levels of omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin D. Omega-3 are vital for heart health, while vitamin D is key for strong bones and a healthy immune system. Now let's talk about the meat itself. Canned meats are often made from lower quality cuts. In contrast, fresh cuts of meat are superior in quality and nutrition. They're derived from healthier parts of the animal, providing more essential nutrients and better taste. Let's not forget about the environmental impact. Canned meats require a lot of energy and resources to produce, from the canning process to the transportation. On the other hand, fresh cuts of meat and wild-caught sardines have less of an environmental footprint making them a more sustainable choice. In conclusion, the benefits of switching from canned meats to fresh cuts and canned wild-caught sardines are plentiful. You're not just improving your health, but also contributing to a more sustainable world. Choosing fresh over canned can make a significant difference in your diet. So the next time you're at the grocery store, why not make a healthier choice? Your body and the planet will thank you. Ever wondered what's really in your deli meats? Well, Let's lift that deli counter veil. The sandwich staple, the charcuterie board star, deli meats are often marred by high levels of sodium, monosodium glutamate, and other additives. These ingredients can be particularly problematic for those with autoimmune conditions or anyone striving for a cleaner diet. You see, deli meats are designed for long shelf life and convenience. And while that's great for a quick lunch or snack, it's not always the best choice for your health. An MSG? That's a flavor enhancer that can cause headaches and other adverse reactions in some people. But here's a fun fact. Deli meats were originally created to utilize less desirable cuts of meat, efficiently reducing waste in butcheries. Quite ingenious, right? But with today's meat processing methods, it's not just about using all parts of the animal. It's also about preserving the meat, enhancing its flavor, and making it look appealing in the display case. So what should you do the next time your sandwich craving hits? Consider healthier alternatives. Fresh cuts of meat like short ribs, ground beef and pork belly are excellent choices. These are typically free from harmful additives and are rich in essential nutrients. 
An interesting tidbit about pork belly. This fatty cut of meat has gained a reputation as a gourmet ingredient in cuisines around the world, from the southern United States to Asia. It's appreciated for its rich flavor and tender texture when cooked properly. So, the next time you're at the deli counter, remember what you're really getting. It's not just about convenience, it's about what's best for your health. And with a little creativity, you can make satisfying meals with fresh, nutrient-rich meats that not only taste better, but are better for you. Next time you're at the deli counter, remember what you're really getting. Next up on our list, let's crack into the truth about eggs. Not all eggs are created equal. This simple statement carries a world of significance. When we peel back the shell, the difference between caged and pasture-raised eggs becomes starkly evident. The former, sourced from chickens confined in cramped, unnatural conditions, often carry the stress and poor health of their producers. The concept of battery cages for laying hens was introduced in the early 20th century, revolutionizing egg production, but at a significant ethical cost. The chickens, unable to roam freely, experience a lower quality of life, which in turn affects the quality of the eggs they produce. On the other hand, we have pasture-raised eggs. These eggs come from chickens that live in healthier, more natural environments. They're free to peck at the ground, bask in the sun, and engage in their natural behaviors. This happier, healthier lifestyle results in eggs that are not only ethically sound, but also pack a superior nutritional punch. They can contain up to twice as much vitamin E and over three times more omega-3 fatty acids than their caged counterparts. In the end, the choice is clear. Choosing pasture-raised eggs is not just an ethical decision, but a health-conscious one too. So, the next time you're at the grocery store, remember that the kind of egg you choose matters for both you and the chicken. Moving on, we're going to peel back the layers on the truth about farmed salmon. A healthy choice or a hidden health hazard? Now that's the question we're here to dissect. Nestled in the heart of the fish aisle, all bright and pink, farmed salmon might be a tempting choice. But before you put it in your cart, let's delve into what lies beneath the surface. Farmed salmon swim in the murky waters of dense farming conditions. This environment, while efficient for farming, is also a breeding ground for diseases and parasites. The close quarters make it easier for these ailments to spread among the fish, potentially infiltrating your dinner plate. To combat this, farmers often resort to antibiotics. But this introduces another problem. Over time, these antibiotics can accumulate in the fish and, consequently, in those who consume them, raising concerns about antibiotic resistance. But it doesn't stop there. Pesticides, too, are often used in salmon farming to control sea lice infestations. These chemicals can linger in the fish's system, and ultimately, in ours. So what's the alternative? Well, we could turn our attention to the wild side. Wild-caught fish and seafood live in their natural habitats, eat what nature intended, and are generally healthier and more nutritious. Remember that epic journey wild salmon undertake, swimming thousands of miles to return to their freshwater spawning sites? That's nature at its best, and that's what we should aim for on our plates. When it comes to salmon, going wild can be a healthier choice. Next, let's sift through the facts about pasteurized milk. Safe, but at what cost? Pasteurization, a process developed by Louis Pasteur in the 19th century, was initially used for wine and beer, it was later applied to milk to improve safety and shelf life. But what's the trade-off? Pasteurization destroys beneficial enzymes and reduces the nutritional content of milk. Plus, it can trigger cravings for carbohydrates and sugars thanks to its lactose content. But is there a better option? Absolutely. Enter raw, unpasteurized dairy. This includes milk, cream, cheese, and butter in their most natural state. They retain their full nutritional profiles natural enzymes and probiotics, which are often lost in the pasteurization process. And if you're a foodie, you might appreciate the richer, more complex flavor raw milk offers. It's also a great way to support small, often family-run dairies. Raw milk might just be the wholesome alternative you've been looking for. Coming up, we're unraveling the reality behind processed cheese. Convenient, but is it worth it? A question worth pondering. Processed cheese is a product of convenience, but it's also a product of compromise. It's made from cheese, yes, but it also includes other unfermented dairy ingredients. The real culprits, however, 
are the emulsifiers, preservatives, and food coloring. These additives are what give processed cheese its unnaturally uniform texture and bright, consistent coloring. But the additives don't stop there. Processed cheese can also contain phosphates, another set of additives that in high quantities can have harmful effects on the kidneys and cardiovascular health. In essence, every time you peel back the plastic on a slice of processed cheese, you're not just getting a quick and easy snack, you're getting a cocktail of additives and preservatives. Next time you reach for that slice of processed cheese, think about what you're really feeding your body. Coming up next, a special bonus health tip for you. Refined sugar is everywhere. It's in our morning cereal, our afternoon coffee, and our evening dessert. But what is it exactly? Refined sugar is sugar that has undergone a process to remove the molasses, resulting in white, crystalline sugar. Sounds harmless, right? Well, not quite. When sugar is refined, it loses all its nutritional value, leaving nothing but empty calories. High intake of refined sugar not only leads to weight gain, but can also cause a spike in blood sugar levels, leading to diabetes. Moreover, it can lead to heart disease and certain types of cancer. Sugar poses significant health risks, and regrettably, there are no healthy alternatives that mimic its effects without similar drawbacks. The best approach for optimal health and well-being is to completely eliminate sugar from your diet. So, next time you're reaching for that sugar jar, think twice. It's not just about the sweetness, it's about your health too. So, what have we learned today about canned meats and their healthier alternatives? We've uncovered the lesser known truths about canned meats, deli meats, caged eggs, farmed salmon, pasteurized milk, and processed cheese. We've also explored healthier alternatives, like fresh cuts of meat, pasture-raised eggs, wild-caught fish, and raw dairy. These choices are not only better for our bodies, but also for our planet. Remember, making healthier choices doesn't mean sacrificing convenience or taste. It's all about being informed and making the best decisions for your health. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay informed.